Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at the Ultralytics Hub. We're going to take a look at how we can train our own custom models. We can connect the data set, we can upload a data set to the Ultralytics Hub, train our model with just a few clicks, either on our own computer, Ultralytics, cloud-based systems as well, but we can also train them in Google Colab directly. So we're going to use a Tiger data set for post estimation. We're going to cover the whole process. I'm going to walk you through every single step. So let's not just jump straight into Autolytics documentation. Up here at the top, you can go inside the hub. We just quickly go and scroll through it. And then we're going to go into the fun part, seeing how we can actually like use it. But we have this quick start. We have the data sets, projects, and also models. And then we're going to see how we can use them. So they need a specific data set format where you can actually just upload it. In this video here, I'm going to show you that for the Tiger Post dataset. So if you go inside the datasets hop tab, you can see the whole procedure, the dataset format, and all the steps that you need to run through. I'm going to show you that in a live demo here, so you don't have to go through the documentation. We also have different projects and also models that you can set up. Again, it is not too important, but we have different uh, data sets that we can use directly. If we just go inside our data set tab up here at the top, if you just want to try out a um, specific data set, they also have this tiger post, which is the one that we're going to use in this video. So right now, let's just go inside this post estimation data set. So you can see the data set YAML file. You just need to specify the training path, the validation path, and so on. Um, the key points, shapes, flip indexes, the different classes that you want to so right now we only have a tiger that we want to do post estimation on and if you want to download the data set you can just directly download the zip file here so i've already done that and then we're going to see these results here and how we can train our own custom model with the ultralytics hub so first of all here let's just go on and open up the data set i have downloaded the data set we have the zip file i'm just going to open it up we have tiger post validation set training set we have our a YAML file here that I just showed you. We have license and also readme file. So we have everything here. We just need the zip file and then we can go inside our data set, upload data set, choose post here. Let's just do tiger post YouTube. We can add our description or else we can just drag and drop our zip data set directly. You can choose any data set. You just need to have it in a specific format. So right now we have already uploaded it. You can do it both for detection, classification, segmentation, and post. We're going to create our data set. It will just take a couple of minutes and then everything should be in here. They already have some predefined data sets. If you want to do like, for example, like Hugo data set, Bistrone, SQ, SQU here as well. If you want to do some um, retail store analytics. So they have some cool data sets that you can use directly out of the box or upload your own data sets. So here we see that it actually only takes probably around 10 seconds to before we have uploaded our data. Once we have uploaded our data, we can go inside our projects. We can see all the different projects, the update detection. We can even create our own project, YOLO v8 and YOLO v5. If we just go inside here, we can directly create our own project. We won't do that now. We're just going to use some default ones. Here we can see YOLO v8, all the YOLO models that we have. We can see the mean error position and also the size of our files. Now let's go inside the models. We can see all these different models that you have trained on the Ultralytics Hub or also the pre-trained ones. The cool thing here is that once we have our data set, we can directly go in and train our models. They also have these integrations. If you want to integrate it with uh, RoboFlow, you have your account and so on. But right now, let's just go inside our data set, wait until it has, it has uploaded. Okay, so now our data set has been uploaded. We can directly just go in and click on it. We have 263 images, a single class. We want to do post submission, and we can also see this size of our data set. So here we can just see a preview of all the different images that we have in our training set, validation set, and also our test set. So just, just take a look at the validation set. Again, we can see all the key points for the specific joins and the key points that we want to detect with this data set. So now we have everything here. We can go up, hit train model directly, upload your data set, click train model, go in, train the model, use the model in your own project and application. It can't be easier than this. So after we created our project, we can just go in and specify it here. I'll just have this test project. We can specify the model name, so tiger post. We can also choose the post architecture that we want to use. So if you want to use nano, small, medium, large model, extra large model, and so on, we can even see the accuracy and the speed. So depending on like what you actually like need, let's go just go with a small one. Pretty good trade-off between accuracy and speed. We can see we have some advantage options if you want to use a pre-trained model or not. If you only have 200 images, we'll have to use a pre-trained model. But again, sometimes you want to train your models from scratch. So yeah, we're going to use a pre-trained model. Let's hit continue. Now we actually just get the different steps that we can use. So first of all here, let's see the first example where we can train it in Google Colab Notebook, but we can also train it with our own agent. 
which is our own computer. So the first step here is to log into the Auto Analytics Hub. You get your API key, then we can create an instance of our YOLO model. Then we just need to specify the model from this URL on the Auto Analytics Hub. It will do everything for you, both the model and also the data set, connect those together, and then we can call model.train directly. Step two here is to open up Google Colab notebook and then just follow the steps throw in the couple of lines of code here, and then we can train our own models without doing anything. You don't need to do any code, modifications or anything. We just need to click, 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 and we have trained the model. So here we have different advanced options. So we can have specified the number of epochs, image size, patient, and also the cache strategy. We can also specify this the, um, the device here and also batch size. So if you want to use like a, a custom batch size, let's say we want to use eight in batch size. Again, we will get a warning here if you change any of the parameters. So we should only change these parameters if you're an expert. And that is the case here. So let's go in and change the batch size. So yeah, we can specify the number of epochs. Let's just go with like 10, 10 epochs in this example here, or like 50 epochs. So now we have all our high parameters. We can then open up a Google Colab notebook. So we're going to do that. It will connect automatically to the hub. We're going to run the notebook. We're going to log in with our API key. So now we have opened up our Google Colab notebook. We're connected to a runtime. We just copy paste this code, go inside here, delete this, override it. And now we can just directly train it in here. Let's go back here. We can see that now we're now connected into Auto Analytics Hub and we don't have to do anything. We can just hit done. We can even see the training progress in here. So we can lock the different metrics. We can see how far is the training. We see that we're using this Google Colab notebook, how many epochs is remaining and so on. And then you can see all the statistics in here. So this is pretty nice for just tracking your model. So now we can see that the first epoch has started. Let's go back into the Auto Analytics Hub and see if we actually get some metrics. We should get that after the first epoch is done. Now we start to see some metrics. So right now we just have a single data point because we have only been running it for one epoch. Now we can see that we're starting with the second epoch. So while our model is training, we can just see all these metrics right now. They're basically just increasing per number of epochs that we're running. So again, our model is training fine and we should just wait until it converges. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you have learned a ton and that you actually like saw how easy it is to train custom object detection models. You don't have to do anything. Just connect your data set, set up a project, use the models here directly from Alteralytics. But this is pretty awesome. Definitely test it out, try it out yourself and let me know in the comments how it works out and how cool you think this is. So again, thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope to see you in one of the upcoming ones. Stay tuned. Bye for now.